my pranams to all atma jyotis divine light of the self i welcome you all children for today's story session before commencing the story let us offer our prayers to sadguru om guru brahma guru vishnu guru devo maheshwara guru sakshat para brahma तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट द स्टोरी वंस अपॉन ए टाइम देयर वाज अ बिग फॉरेस्ट एंड इन दैट फॉरेस्ट देयर लिव्ड अ बिग हेफ्टी माइटी एलिफेंट एंड दिस एलिफेंट वाज वेरी प्राउड ऑफ इट्स स्ट्रेंथ it said to itself ah i am so mighty so powerful and the king of the forest the lion he too cannot stand before me i am so powerful and this pride led him to develop many bad qualities with his strength he could have helped all other animals but instead of that he developed many bad qualities so he never cared for any animal while he was walking in the forest he used to cut the branches of the trees uproot the trees kill the animals which were passing there and it was very cruel so all other animals they were afraid of this elephant and they were very much worried about this elephant oh what will happen to us if this elephant comes to our house like this all the animals were thinking and in the same forest there lived two little sparrows on a big banyan tree they built their beautiful nest on one of the branches of the banyan tree and lived there happily the female sparrow laid eggs both of them became very happy very cheerful they were they were thinking about their little ones the female said oh in a few days these eggs will hatch and we can see our little ones they will be so beautiful and we can feed them nicely and we can teach them how to fly it will be so nice no then the male sparrow also agreed yeah yeah it will be very nice we will have a very nice time like this they were spending their time happily one day they had to go out to collect grains so the female made all arrangements for the eggs that is she should protect them no nobody should see the eggs so she brought some grass some uh, sticks and all and she covered all the eggs with that nicely so that no one could see them and they both flew to collect the grains after some time this elephant this arrogant pride elephant that came on the way on that way it just came and it was cutting the branches of the trees no like that it came near this banyan tree also cut many branches and uprooted the whole banyan tree and the nest also fell on the ground all the eggs fell scattered on the ground and this elephant saw all those eggs it stamped on the eggs 
crush them and with a wicked, crooked smile, it went off. Now, after some time, these two sparrows came back. Then they saw this horrible scene. The banyan tree was uprooted. Then the female said, Oh, what is this? Where are my, my, my eggs? Then it saw the eggs were scattered and they were crushed into pieces. Oh, it, it could not control its agony. It started weeping. Oh, what happened to my young ones? Oh, I am unable to see my young ones. All the eggs are scattered and crushed. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what shall I do now? What shall I do now? It wept bitterly. The male also was very much shocked to see all these things. But somehow it started consoling the female. See, please. Please don't weep so much. Huh? Be calm, be calm. We can have some more eggs in future. We can have our little ones in future. Don't worry too much. Like this, it started consoling. Now the female got consoled a bit. But it said, Who has done all these things? Then the male said, who other can do all these things? It's none other than the elephant, that pride elephant, arrogant elephant. Then the female said, yeah, he has done it, I'm sure. See, but if we go on accepting everything like this, he will also go on doing all such crimes. And no one in the forest will be happy, isn't it? So, we should see some way to control this elephant. We should teach him a lesson, isn't it? Don't you think so? Then the male also agreed, yeah, yeah, yeah. What you are telling is true. We should teach him a lesson. Then he said, okay, I'll go to my friends and discuss this matter with them. Then we can, I am sure, we will come up with some plan. Then it went near its friends. It had three friends. One mosquito, one woodpecker and one frog. So this male sparrow went there and discussed everything with them. They also were very disappointed that the eggs were crushed. Then they all started to think. Some plan should be done to see that the elephant learns a big lesson. Now suddenly the woodpecker got one idea. Then it said, hey listen all of you, I have an idea now. See. First, the mosquito should go and make sound in the ear of the elephant. Children, have you listened to the sound of mosquito? It will always do oing, 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 like that. It makes sound, no? It's so irritating. So, what the woodpecker suggested? First, the mosquito should go and make that sound in the ear of the elephant. Now the elephant gets irritated. Then it starts moving its head like this. And if the sound still goes on, then it starts running he here and there. Now the, in the second session, the woodpecker said, I will go and pierce into his eyes so that he can become blind and let the mosquito continue its humming. So now the elephant will be irritated and it will also be blind. So it starts running here and there but it will not know where it's going 
And now the frog will sit in a deep trench and make its sound. Water, 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 water. So if the elephant hears this sound, it thinks that there is a river nearby. By this time, it would have got thirst and to quench its thirst, it will go near the trench thinking that it's a river and it falls into the trench. Now it cannot come out and it will die there with appetite and thirst. Is this plan okay? Asked the woodpecker. All of them felt very happy. They said, yeah, this is a very good idea. Let's implement it. Now, immediately, the mosquito started. It flew and reached the elephant's place. It's, it went near the ear of the elephant and started its sound. Like that, it started. The elephant got irritated. It did like this. It did like this. It ran there. It ran there. But the sound was still continuing. It did like this. Again it ran. By this time, the woodpecker came and it pierced into the eyes of the elephant. Both eyes. Oh! The elephant screamed. Blood started oozing out from the eyes of the elephant. Oh! Oh! It wept. And the mosquito continued. Sound. The elephant ran, 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 ran to get rid of the sound and its eyes were burning, blood was flowing, it was paining a lot, it was weeping and running and its throat dried up. It wanted to have water. By this time the frog went into the deep trench and started sound. Water, 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 water. Now the elephant heard the sound. It thought, oh, there is a river nearby. Oh, I can go and drink the water and quench my thirst. Then it came there. It couldn't see, no. It came there like this and it fell into the trench. Nobody was there to help it. It couldn't come out. It didn't know where it was. There was no water there. Then it wept, wept, wept. And it starved. Nothing was there to eat. Nothing was there to drink. And finally, the elephant died. So... This was the end of the elephant and the end of the story. Was it nice children? What moral did you learn from this? See, the elephant had enough strength. With its strength, it could have helped all the animals of the forest isn't it? It could have been a very good friend of all the animals but instead of being a friend it became an enemy. It cultivated all bad qualities and with these bad qualities it did lot of harm to the nature, the forest and the animals. Was it right on its part to do like this? 
you shouldn't have done like this isn't it so we should we do should not do any harm to others as far as possible we should help others otherwise if we cultivate bad qualities we will be punished by the nature like that elephant elephant finally died of all agony and suffering isn't it like that we will also be punished that's why we should never cultivate any bad qualities we should always strive for becoming good persons okay did you all like the story now let's close the session with a prayer om asato ma sadgamaya tamaso ma jyotirgamaya mrityor ma amritangamaya om shanti 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 hi lokaha समस्ताह सुखिनो भवन्तु लोकाह समस्ताह सुखिनो भवन्तु लोकाह समस्ताह सुखिनो भवन्तु हरि हि ओम तत्सत् श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः